All right, what is up, guys? This is Chris. How y'all doing? It's Sunday. Um, just want to do a quick video here. I want to talk about some things that have been uh, kind of on my mind recently. So you guys know I'm an IT professional, uh, former military. I worked as a contractor. I worked as a consultant. I worked as a government contract employee. Um, a lot of different things, right? So I've done a lot of different types of jobs. I've had a lot of different bosses, and I think that gives me a fair amount of uh, background, frame of reference as to why I think that, you know, um, this topic is relevant. So the topic I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about why I think you should consider a career in IT. Information technology. What is it? Um, well, it's just about everything. It's so broad. It's so, um, it's transformed ever, you know, if you look back at the early days of the internet and the early days of computing, I mean, there, nobody could have thought that we would be so heavily influenced in technology um, by our, in our day-to-day -day lives. I mean, we're carrying around pocket computers. We're carrying around, um, you know, devices that have Bluetooth, they have GPS, they have Wi-Fi, they have uh, near-field communication, they have uh, tap-to-pay. They have all kinds of things in them. They have, um, it's incredibly powerful because in many ways, I think we take it for granted that, you know, that work that went into create that technology. So why you should consider a career in IT? So, you know, it's not just for, you know, there's several reasons. First of all, um, we are very unemployed as far as the amount of jobs that we have and the amount of jobs that exist in IT. Um, so it's from a strictly statistics perspective and a numbers game. If you want a job in IT, um, there's one out there for you. Now, some might, some will say, well, then what about the the gap of the um, experience? What about certifications? What about um, those things? They say, well, those things can be learned. Experience can be obtained, and certifications can be learned. What really can't be found a lot in IT. Um, is the ability to talk to people like regular people to talk to someone on their level to not say well you wouldn't understand because it's so complicated how could you possibly understand um, and I say that as someone who's been in that seat where I've had to explain very technical things to people that um, didn't really care why, why something was broken didn't really matter what the issue was all they cared about was when it was going to be fixed and so the people that I've worked with and worked for, um, the thing that sets really great um, IT professionals apart from just okay IT professionals is somebody that can talk to people, somebody that can um, explain things. It, it doesn't have to be with acronyms and crazy terms and crazy protocols and uh, technical mumbo jumbo. It really just it's being able to look at a problem and problem solve so I mean everything from discovery to whether you're on the defensive side of IT you know uh, or the offensive or even you know I should say more defensive side of security versus the offensive side but um, there's everything in IT from uh, design engineering networking databases everything interesting all starts with IT it all starts with technology um, so I hope that was interesting to you guys. Hope that gets you a little bit excited, a little bit more uh, inquisitive. If you want to know about how to get started, about the best things to do from an interview perspective, resume perspective, social media, what kinds of projects should you volunteer for, um, what can you do right now, whether you're, you're employed or not, um, definitely message me in the comments, uh, send me an email, um, comment, let me know what you guys think. And we'll try to get more content like this, uh, more just honest talk, more straight talk. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll talk to you guys in the next video.